He's saying, and I heard him on the radio driving back from the American Astronomical Society meeting, driving back from the airport. I'm listening to Hoagland going on and on on Coast to Coast AM with George Nury about all of the machinery parts that are littered around the rover site. Now, these are not NASA machinery parts. Okay? These are clearly the machinery parts that were left over from some sort of giant construction project that the aliens were doing on Mars in this dry lake bed, of which there is absolutely no evidence because it's a frickin' dry lake bed that's flat, right? It's like, it's like Kansas. So what, but what is his evidence of these? He says, you have to look in the pictures and see where NASA is covering this up. You have to deny the truth that this is a machine part and this and this. How can you deny this? It is so obvious that this is a, you know, a scattered field of machinery. You have to bury the facts that there's a, you know, a piston in this picture and, and cogs and gears you know, right there. How can you miss this? <laughs> right? You have to hide the clues that there's some sort of helmet here. Some people are calling this an alien fossil, actually. <laughs> that this is actually, he said, nature never makes symmetric objects like this with two holes right next to each other, and I keep thinking, that's right, there's just no symmetry in nature. You know, <laughs> that, that, that bitch mother nature, she's just, she doesn't know what she's doing. I mean, come on. Crystals, for example. You know, there, there's symmetry everywhere. It's so stupid to make claims like this, and this, this one kills me. I'm not sure what they make of this. Um, <laughs> um, but there are other pictures that show, people say there's a metallic ring in, in the picture, and it's like, it's not a metallic ring, it's just a spot where the, the ground is a little bit brighter, and it just happens to be circular. It just goes on and on and on. But it turns out that even though NASA is denying the truth, and it's burying the facts, and it's hiding the clues, that even though we're on Mars, we know for a fact that we're not in Kansas anymore. This is the actual image that I showed you before, before NASA retouched it. Are people seeing it here, this? Okay. Mars, what a world, what a world. Okay, I'm, that, that's probably a little too subtle. But it turns out that there are lots of images that NASA has been suppressing. For example, they have um, images of the Yeti on Mars, <laughs> the, uh, the Mars Squatch. And this one, which is, is, is horrifying, you've got Mars. <laughs> you see the... Uh, for, for those of you who, um, I didn't put these together, I actually stole these, I hope they're not copyrighted, from, from somethingawful.com where they have a, a Photoshop contest every Friday where they have a theme and people just take, take pictures and, uh, and touch them up. There are a whole bunch of them on this website. Not all of them are Mars related, so I didn't copy them, but they are hysterical. There are some really great ones. I strongly urge you to, to go there and see the doctored images, but it turns out, you know, um, here, is, here is in fact that, that face on Mars. Again, this is, this is the last slide. I, d I think this does look like a face, and, and, and um, you've probably seen the later pictures that make it look not like a face. Um, the, the Mars Global Surveyor, which is orbiting Mars now and taking high-resolution images, and, and there will be other images that are taken that show this really isn't a face. But again, NASA is suppressing the truth because it was too horrifying, so disturbing, so profoundly disgusting that they have been faking the Mars face all along. And I and my NASA contacts, in the poll that I have, that I wield with ruthless power inside of NASA, right? I was able to find the actual image. And I hope you all haven't eaten recently. But here it is. <laughs> Thank you very much. I guess I should say, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh.